الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي يجيبني حين أناديه ويستر علي كل عورة وأنا أعصيه ويعظم النعمة علي فلا أجازيه نحمده ونسبحه ونقدس على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والأوصياء والصديقين وعترة نبيك الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين وصحابته الأنجاب المؤمنين ومن تبعهم بإحسان وإيمان إلى يوم الدين عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكمل العدة ولتكبر الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون صدق الله العلي العظيم Almost half of the month, or more than half of the month is gone. And we are on the heels of the nights of Qadr, the nights of destiny, the nights that determines our future, determines our destiny, determines our fate, our prosperity, our happiness during these upcoming nights. The first night of Qadr and the reason we have three nights. We don't have one night of Qadr, we have three nights of Qadr. Either one of them it could be the main night. The reason to give people a chance. If it was only one night, People might miss that night, and that's a, an important night, a night that determines our fate. So this is one of the aspects of Allah's mercy on us, to hide this night within three nights. And the hadith says, the first two nights they prepare, the night of the 19th, the eve of the 19th, the eve of the 21st, prepares for the eve of the 23rd to prepare ourselves psychologically, spiritually. We prepare ourselves for the grand night. And one of the main important goals of fasting is to fix this relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our relationship with Him is to fix these broken relationships first with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and second with the people if the relationship with Allah is fixed then our relationship with our families our friends our community members our neighbors are, are, are going to be fixed too man aslaha fi ma baynahu wa bayna Allah the reason why sometimes there is tension in our relationship 
with people around us because the main relationship is broken. The main relationship with God is broken. Alhamdulillah alladhi Alhamdulillah alladhi ad'oo fayujibuni wa in kuntu bati'an hina yad'oo Praise to the Lord that whenever I call upon him he answers me but when he calls upon me I am slow to respond wa in kuntu bati'an this is dua Abu Hamza this is dua of Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam that was taught to his disciple Abu Hamza al Thaman, Thabit ibn Dinar, during the month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, Alladhi As'aluhu Fayu'atin, Wa in Kuntu Bakhilan Hina Yastakribu. When I ask him for his blessings, he would give, but when he asks me to give some back, I hesitate. I become bakhil, mean, stingy. I don't give back. Walhamdulillah alladhi unadih kullama shi'tu li hajati wa akhlu bihi haythu shi'tu li sirri min ghayri shafi'in fayakli li hajati. Whenever I need to see him and meet with him and speak to him, he's there. I don't need someone, an intercessor here in the middle between me and him. He's there. His gates are always open, especially during this month. Walhamdulillah alladhi la ad'u ghayrah. Walau da'awtu ghayrahu lam yastajib li du'ahu. This is the fundamentals of Tawheed. We learn Tawheed from Ahlul Bayt. Ahlul Bayt, they teach us the right Tawheed, how to speak to Allah and how to worship Him. Alhamdulillah alladhi la ad'u ghayrah. Some traditions, they accuse Ahlul Bayt of shirk. You are mushrik. You don't worship God. But listen to what Imam Zayn al says. Alhamdulillah alladhi la ad'u ghayrah. Praise to that Lord that I call upon none but Him. Walau da'awtu ghayrahu lam yastajib li dua. Even if I dare to call upon others, they are not going to respond to me. They are unable to respond to me. We call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during this month. So, so do not miss. You have maybe only 13 nights left in this month. Try not to miss the tahajjud. And the tahajjud part of it is salat. Salatul layl. Wa min al-layli fatahajjad bihi nafilatan lak. And part of it is dua. These types of dua. Dua Abu Hamza, dua Al-Sahar, dua Al-Iftitah. We learn the etiquettes of how to speak and address Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this relationship, this vertical relationship has to be fixed and has to be strengthened. Once this relationship is fixed, then we come to the horizontal relationship with the people. When our relationship with Allah is healthy, is normal, is good, then that would reflect on our behavior here with people on earth, beginning with our parents. Sometimes I see some people who do not have good relationship with their families, even including their parents. Sometimes between the husband and the wife, this is the month of reconciliation. This is the month, the month of sulh, of peace, of restoring the relationship, restoring the respect, restoring the mental, spiritual intimacy with your family. This is the month. This is the month. When your relationship with Allah is good, the heart becomes a pure, clean, and then it is going to be reflected on your relationship with people around you. With your brothers and sisters, in particular our siblings, we have to fix the relationship. With cousins, with extended family members, we have to fix this relationship before the nights of Qadr. 
before the night of forgiveness. Because Allah, during the nights of Qadr, He does not look at the shapes. He looks at the hearts. And the more the heart is pure and refined, the more the dua is going to be accepted. The more He's going to respond to your prayers and to your request during Laylatul Qadr. Let's work on the heart. If we have a problem with someone, if we don't speak, if there is disconnection with family members, with friends, before Layalil Qadr, before Layalil Qadr, we take this step, courageous step, courageous step. It requires a lot of courage, a lot of tol tolerance to go to him, to go to her and say, I'm sorry. We are approaching Layal al Qadr and I want to meet my Lord Illa man Allah bi qalbin saleem. I need my heart to be clean, to be pure. Fasalullah Rabbakum biniyatan sadiqatin wa qulubin tahira. If the heart is not clean, if the heart is contaminated, and there are many types of contaminations. The worst contamination is a grudge, hiqt. This is the worst type of contamination. This is very deadly, very dangerous. When there is grudge, there is hate, especially when it comes to the mu'mineen, among the mu'mineen in the community of believers, then that is an ailing heart. And the ailing heart cannot send a message. Sometimes you see the connection, the Wi-Fi connection is weak. It's not good. It's not fast. You, don't, you can't send pictures. They tell you there is weak connection. This is true when it comes to the heart. If the heart is ailing, the heart is not clean, not ready, the message would not go out. The message is not sent. We have to work on the hearts. فَاسْأَلُوا اللَّهَ رَبَّكُمْ بِنِيَّاتٍ صَادِقَةٍ وَقُلُوبٍ طَاهِرَةٍ أَنْ يُوَفِّقَكُمْ To enable you to stand before Him. Standing before Allah requires tawfiq, requires an opportunity, requires some help from Him, requires an invitation by Him. We have to be prepared for the Ali. Prepare the hearts. Some people prepare their books, books of dua, Quran, Sajjada, very good. But more important than all these material things to prepare the heart. To prepare your heart. Make your relationship with people good. Seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness from people. How many people we insulted? How many people we offended? How many? So many people around us. Throughout the whole year. We don't care. We don't care about them. This is the time to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through this channel, through beginning with His creatures, through restoring our relationship with His creatures, then we can restore a good relationship with, with the Creator. The month of Ramadan is an opportunity for soul searching, for self-examination, self-reflection, روي عنه صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أنه قال أقربكم مني يوم القيامة أحسنكم أخلاقا أحسنكم أخلاقا The closest one among you to me on the day of judgment is the one with the best akhlaq and best manners and best behavior Not best prayers Not more prayers Some people are eluded under this illusion that the more prayers I pray it gets me to Allah. Yes, if the prayers is right and correct. If the prayers cleanse your heart, it gets you closer to Allah. But if that prayers is a spiritless, spiritless, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ وَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ They do pray physically. But they are absent when it comes to the spirit of the Salat, the message of the Salat, the message of love, the message of care, the message of humility, 
the message of humbleness, the message, message of brotherhood and sisterhood. This is the message of Salat. الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَعُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعُونَ Life is too short, my friends. From last Ramadan until this Ramadan, how many people we lost? How many people are gone? Many people. And many of those many uh, were young. Were young. Many of them were young, not very old. Life is too short. It's not worth it to spend this life in tension. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to create tension, to maintain tension. Try to end the tension. Try to restore your relationship with others. I mentioned some hadiths before that our imams who are leaders in love and compassion and forgiveness, they teach us that even if you think that you are innocent and that side, that part is guilty, still go to him, say I'm sorry. After three days, do not keep this a broken relationship. Go to that person and say, I'm sorry. Even if you think you are right and he's wrong. Because in most cases, we always believe we are right and others are wrong. Still, you have to go and reach out to that person in order for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most difficult thing for God is to see his children, his dependents, as the creatures are fighting among, among themselves. That's the most difficult thing for him. So he wants us to go back to each other so he can embrace us with his mercy, inshallah. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ وَجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانٌ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إلها واحدا أحدا فردا صمدا قيوما ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي المقصرة بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره من وصية لسيدنا ومولانا الإمام الحسن بن علي الزكي عليهما السلام أنه قال Yesterday the 15th of Ramadan was the anniversary of the birth of the second Imam in the school of Ahlul Bayt, Al-Imam Al-Hasan alayhi salatu was In his will, in his advice, 
to one of his students. He says, Istaidda li safarik. Prepare for the day of departure. We have a day of departure ahead of us. We all share in that departure. Whether you like it or you dislike it. Whether you are a believer or non-believer, a worshipper or non-worshipper, a Muslim or non-Muslim. That day of that day of departure is reserved for you. Whether you have the money to pay for the ticket or you don't. They have booked the ticket for you to leave. Istaidda li safarik. Therefore be prepared. Wahassal zadak. Zad is what we use, the provision, provision that we use in the trip. People carry with them. They used to carry food, drink in the past. Now they carry the credit card. You know, United can offer you only if you have a credit card. So, وَحَصَّلْ زَادَكَ قَبْلَ حُلُولِ أَجَلِكَ Before that time comes, the ajal, get the provision, make it ready, make it ready, so you carry it. And then he says, وَعْلَمْ أَنَّكَ لَا تَكْسِبُ مِنَ الْمَالِ شَيْئًا فَوْقَ قُوتِكْ إِلَّا كُنْتَ فِيهِ خَازِنًا لِغَيْرِكَ Be assured that every single money you accumulate above what you need, above your needs, is going to be a burden upon you. You are going to accumulate that for others. You are not going to enjoy it. You only enjoy the money that you use and you need. Above that, it's a liability. Above that, it's a burden. You are not going to enjoy it. You accumulate money for some people who might not even remember you after your death. Sometimes I see some poor people with, with moderate income, they enjoy this life much more than the rich people. Because rich people, they are always in the state of anxiety, <coughs> anxious, anxious about two things, how to maintain what they have, not to lose it, and how to increase what they have to. They are always, what is really keeps us busy in this life and it brings anxiety, source number one is how to make money. How to make money, how to sustain our families, how to help our families. This is what keeps us busy. This is the first important thing that we have on our mind. How to make money so I can pay for myself and my family. Allah says, I will guarantee that. If you are a hardworking, sincere person, if you are not lazy, you will get what you deserve. But then some people, they get what they deserve and what they need, but they don't rest. They don't have rest. Some of them, I know some of the rich people, they don't enjoy their food. They don't enjoy their families. The month of Ramadan is the month of family. They don't, they don't spend time with their families. Tell me what is the value, what is the worth of this money that you have, or the profession that you have, or the business that you have, which does not allow you to spend some quality time with your children, with your family members. Is it really worth it? Sometimes I see people with minimum wage, $10 an hour, they spend more time, quality time, they enjoy their time with their families, much more than those who are millionaires. Imam al-Hassan salam says, when Allah has given you what you need, then if you make extra, share it with others. Don't keep it, don't accumulate. There are some rich people who have lands and properties that they have not even seen. They don't see it, they don't enjoy it. He accumulates, and then on the Day of Judgment, he has to give the answer. People come after him, sometimes not even his children, his great-grandchildren. They enjoy that property, they enjoy it, and the grandfather and his qabr, wherever he is, I don't know, where they take him, he has to give an answer. Wa'lam. Be assured. إِنَّكَ لَا تَكْسِبُ مِنَ الْمَالِ شَيْئًا فَوْقَ قُوتِكَ Every single penny that you make above your need, above your need, you have to give an answer to that.
it would be a burden on you. Try to share. And the month of Ramadan is the month of share. The month of Ramadan is the month of generosity. The month of zakat. The month of حقوق الناس حقوق الله and حقوق الناس. Before Layal al-Qadr again. If you have some debt to people sometimes, sometimes begin with the people. Go and give them back. Whatever you have taken, whatever loan you have and the loan is due, you have to go and give it back before Layal al-Qadr. I mentioned this hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or the hadith now I'm fasting I want to be accurate he says a shaheed all, all people are going to be held accountable before they go into paradise they have to look into their files they check their passports except one group they go without checking their records and this is a shaheed the martyr real martyr huh? not martyr who works for Daesh huh? the one who works for Daesh right away to Jahannam Immediately to Jahannam. No doubt about it. The one who murders the Muslims during Ramadan and before Ramadan and after Ramadan and murders women and takes. Yesterday they took women from Syria as Asra, Usara, prisoners of war. And they brought them from Syria. They were selling them in Fallujah in Iraq. And they take women from Iraq from Ambar province, they go and sell them in Syria in the market. This is Daesh. This is the Islam of Daesh. This is the Khilafah of Daesh. This is the type of Khilafah that Daesh wants to bring to the Muslim communities. And unfortunately, some brainwashed, naive, some naive people in our community, in the Muslim community, they believe Daesh and they support them. So the shaheed who gives his life for the right cause, they would not stop him, they would not answer him, right to the Jannah. But if he has a loan, they tell him, you will go to Jannah, but not now. Stay here until your family, they pay off this loan. They pay off this debt. They have, they have to pay off this debt. Then you can make it to Jannah. So, this is how Islam is strict when it comes to financial affairs, financial responsibility. Give back to people what you have taken from them. Then the gates of mercy, inshallah, will be open for you and share, share what you have. Be more generous in this month. This is the Holy Quran. You are not going to be righteous Righteous, al-bir wa taqwa, righteous, or pious, or kind, unless hatta tunfiqu mimma tuhibboon. When you give from the original of your money, from the food that you love, you share. The clothing that you love, you share. The money that you love, you share. Not the extra. Mimma tuhibboon. Mimma tuhibboon. Whatever you have kept for yourself, you have to share with others. At that time, you attain birr, righteousness, and piety. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna Allah ya'mur bil-adl wal-ihsan wa-ita'i dil-qurba wa yanha an al-fahshai wal-munkar wal-baghi ya'idhukum la'allakum tadakkaroon. We have the upcoming youth camp. Every year we have this youth camp. This is our 15th or 14th year or 16th. I lost count. So we encourage you to attend. It's for the youth who are between the age of 17 until 39 years and 11 months and 29 days. So you are welcome to attend. This year it's going to be at the end of July, beginning of August, three days. So register for us and I assure you you're going to Enjoy this camp, inshallah. Also, we have another camp for the juniors. And Layal al-Qadr is going to begin the first night, the eve of the 19th, is Sunday, this coming Sunday, after July 4th, inshallah. Don't forget the fireworks. And then on Sunday, the first night of Qadr, 
on a Tuesday, the second night of Qadr, and the grand night, the eve of the 23rd, is going to be Thursday, inshallah. Allahumma akhfir lil mu'mineen wal mu'minat, wal muslimin wal muslimat, al ahya'i minhum wal amwat, tabi'i allahumma baynana wa baynahum bil khayrat. Allahumma taqabbal siyamana wa salatana wa dua'ana fi hada al-shahr al-azim. اللهم اجعلنا من عتقائك من النار اللهم ادخلنا الجنة واغفر لوالدينا ولأرحامنا ولأهلنا وأصدقائنا اللهم ارحم المسلمين والمؤمنين في كل مكان يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم فرج عن إخواننا المؤمنين في سوريا وفي اليمن وفي العراق وفي, وفي فلسطين وفي مصر وفي كل مكان يا أرحم الراحمين وعجل في فرج سيدنا ومولانا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد